Hi all, it's PJ with Montevilla Sewing Centers and I'm gonna talk to you about stabilizers. This is just a small sampling of stabilizers that are on the market today and I'm gonna concentrate mainly on products that Montevilla sells, Floriani and the OESD. Let's start with the basic types of stabilizers. You have tearaways, cutaways, water solubles, and then there's a whole section that I consider specialty, most of which are actually not stabilizers at all. But they are usually made and produced and sold by companies that make stabilizers. So they kind of fall into the stabilizer category. The reason for stabilizers is to help hold up the stitches that you're stitching on your fabric. If your fabric isn't heavy enough, to hold up the stitches by themselves, which generally speaking, most fabrics aren't sturdy enough to hold up to all the embroidery stitches that we like to stitch. If you only stitched on canvas, you wouldn't need a stabilizer for the most part because the canvas itself is sturdy enough to hold up all those stitches by itself. So the stabilizer comes in because it will help to hold up the stitches why there are so many different stabilizers is because they all serve a purpose. This is just a general introduction and then I'm going to go into each section individually. The first category of stabilizers is tearaway stabilizers and you would use a tearaway stabilizer if you're embroidering on what would be considered a stable fabric and the most common description of a stable fabric is something that is woven that has a straight or a basket weave and that the material itself is pretty stable all by itself. Quilting cotton, a duck cloth, something of that nature is woven and it would be considered a stable fabric. So in that case, you could use a tearaway because while the stabilizer is going to help to hold up the stitches, it doesn't have to actually add integrity to the material itself. Cutaways are generally used on non-stable fabrics. By a non-stable fabric, usually that would be a knit, a t-shirt knit, a sweatshirt knit, polar fleece, something of that nature because inherently the material isn't stable all by itself. So you need a cutaway stabilizer to add the stability, not only for the stitches, but also for the fabric. Then water soluble stabilizers. Water soluble stabilizers, once you are done stitching and you rinse out the stabilizer, the stabilizer will go completely away. Most often water soluble stabilizers are used when you're doing lace. Then the fourth category that I consider the specialties, which are really not stabilizers at all, a lot of times they are more considered a fabric prep, meaning that it is a lot of times going to stay in there after your stitching is completely done. So stabilizers, as a general rule, cutaways, tearaways, and of course washaways, once you're done embroidering, you're either going to trim away the excess or tear away the excess, or with a washaway, you would wash away the excess. In a fabric prep, it's going to stay put after the stitching is done. The feasible woven is a good example of what I would consider a fabric prep. Dreamweave, there's, this is Dreamweave Ultra, there's also a regular Dreamweave. Also in the specialty category, you would have items like Applique Wonder or Applique Fuse and Fix. It's a preparation that you would put onto the fabric, you fuse it onto the fabric, and then there's a protective backing that you peel off and it's tacky on the other side. The Color Keep or the Top Cover, also those fall under the specialty. I think that's about it for the brief run through on the different types of stabilizers. So in the next section, I'm gonna go into all of those more individually and a little more into depth why you would use them and where you would use them.